Welcome back everyone. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to delete these here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some other um, some other field types here. Now, what I like to do is I like to put the paragraph tag here uh, and then put the input. Uh, so in this case, I'll just say something like input password like this. And, um, you know, you don't technically have to put the paragraph tag there. But I like to put it there anyway, okay? And so it is the same thing, input, and then the type is equal to of type password, okay? And then the name, is it's always good to give a name, can be password, okay? Now, one thing I should point out is that I have password in two different, uh, two different areas here, okay? And you can actually, if you really want to think of it, I have it in three, three different areas. I have password here, password here, and password here. So let's just quickly talk a little bit about what words you can use. Now, depending on the programming environment, you may or may not be able to use certain words, okay? Uh, and for example, password might be a, one of these, what they're called reserved words, meaning that uh, if, you, if you use this reserved word, um, then you can't use it in the way that you're thinking of. So for example, if you're using password and the computer views the word password as something functional to the program, um, then, uh, then, you can't, then you can't do it, all right? Uh, because the computer's thinking it's something else. Now, when you put something in a paragraph tag, you can put whatever you want. It could be a password, it could be anything, right? Um, but when you put, um, when you put it, something in quotes, usually in programming, it means that you, you can make something here that's not um that that you can take a reserved word and use it whatever you want so of type password now you can't type you know whatever you want in here there's a certain kind of type that it has to be otherwise the computer is going to return some kind of error and then the name here you can pretty much put whatever you want now html is a little bit n not specific on this so if you're going further into programming, just realize that this has to be an issue. I remember that it was an issue for me, okay? So we got input password, and I'm just going to close off the paragraph tag here, all right? And if I just move this over, uh, you can see that when I type in the password, it doesn't matter what I type, it comes out as circles, and uh, that's essentially what it is. That's all, that's all it really is there. Now, what we can do is, uh, I'll just get rid of the word password, I'll just keep the word input here. There's other things you can do. You can add in checkboxes, all right? So of type, right, we can call this checkbox. And then you can see that if I move this back over here, we have the checkbox here, okay? And I'm just gonna put the name as uh, input, uh, just like that. And uh, there's another type you can do. Uh, you can actually do uh, radio. So if you see a type radio, you'll see that in here. Now, let's just go ahead and let's copy this out a few times, okay? So now that we have uh, a few different radio buttons here, and I'm gonna copy this out, and I'm gonna change this to checkbox, okay? So I'll copy this out a few times. So watch what happens. I'll show you the fundamental difference between the two, okay? And so you can see here that we have one radio button, and you can see that I can only select one radio button. And there's a reason for that, and it's because radio buttons, you can only have one selected, whereas the checkboxes, you can have all of them selected. Pretty simple, right? Now watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna delete this here, and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this here, and I'm just gonna delete all this white space here. Now, if I copy the entire form tag and I have two radio buttons, watch what happens, right? I can select both of them. Why can I do that, okay? And the reason why I can do that is because anything within the form tag as a radio button, I can only select one. So let's say you have, uh, if I just type in a paragraph one, you s uh, like another paragraph here, and I say uh, this is idea one, Right, and I close off the tag, and then I hop over here and I type in uh, this is idea two, and then I close off the tag here. Um, you know, if you have, um, if you have, if you need to have different radio buttons for different types here, this is where you'd use it. 
All right, and so that's essentially uh, what you need to do uh, for um, uh, for radio buttons and checkboxes. And if you want to have a password field, you can add that in too. I'll see you guys next time.